Okay, here we have a um, problem where we're asked to calculate the vapor pressure of a solution. So this solution has two things in it. Um, 32% of it is ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol has a formula C2H6O2. And we can figure out what its molar mass is by adding up the molar masses in the periodic table of two carbons, two oxygens, and six hydrogens. And we get a molar mass of 62.07. Now the other component is 68% um, water. We get the 68 from, uh, you know, subtracting 32% from 100%. And water has a molar mass of uh, 18.02. And again, we get that number by adding up the molar masses in the periodic table, two hydrogens and one oxygen. Now, there's other information here in the word problem, but basically what we need to do is uh, whenever you're given grams or percent, we need to calculate uh, moles and get to concentration units here some other way. So 32%. Um, okay, so what we do here is we're going to assume that the total mass here is 100 grams. We could use whatever we want, but it makes the math a little bit easier, okay? So 100 grams total means 32% of 100 grams is 32 grams of our ethylene glycol. And here I can convert this to moles now that we have grams. So if we do this on our calculator, um, 32 divided by 60.07, that's equal to 0 0.516. Okay, and I want to do the same thing with the water. So 68% um, of 100 grams is equal to 68.0 grams of water. And one mole of water weighs in at 18.02 grams. Okay, and I wanna punch this in on my calculator. So 68 divided by 18.02 is equal to 3.7 seven gram, uh, moles of water. Okay. Now we want to calculate the mole fraction of water, which is the volatile substance here. It has a vapor pressure of 760. So what we want to do here is calculate the mole fraction of water. Okay. And that's equal to the uh, moles of water divided by the total moles, okay? So moles of water plus moles of my ethylene glycol, okay? And if I plug that in here, okay, so we got moles of water, um, And remember how moles cancels out, and we're, and we're left with a unitless number. So if we punch this in onto our calculator, 3.77 divided by, and use parentheses, 3.77 plus 
0.516, close the parentheses, hit the equal, we get 0 0.8 eight zero okay so that's our mole fraction now what we do is we use Routes law um, Routes law states that the pressure of the water is going to be equal to the mole fraction of the water times the pressure of water that's completely uh, pure. So um, we have 0 0.880 times, if we look at the word problem, um, the pressure of water at 100 degrees Celsius is this uh, temperature, 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so at 100 degrees Celsius, it's very hot, 0 0.880 times 760 is equal to 669 millimeters of mercury, okay? So that's the vapor pressure. Uh, it's lowered, right? So we call this a vapor pressure lowering. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, you might try subscribing to my channel.